with half a billion pounds spent. And I read reports suggesting that Ivan Tony, another 60 million, might be the missing piece of the jigsaw and so on. How how long do you give Arteta before you think, OK, now you've got to win something big? Not a League Cup or an FA Cup, but now you've got to win a Champions League or a Premier League. So I'm, I'm, I listen to the numbers and I, I do believe it's a, it's a lot of money and it is backing uh, for the coach. But you always have to see who you're competing against and what they're investing as well and what is the nature of the game at this time. So I think Man City are investing massively. If you see the teams around, they're all investing massively, uh, a, lot of, a lot of money. And to be able to compete or at least play in the Champions League year in, year out, uh, you need to be able to compete on that level too. So um, I think uh, what Arteta has been doing, what they do has done, and, and the people at the club is that they they have a, a strategy and they stick to it. And and this stability has given Arsenal an amazing platform to play the football that they did last year, and they can continue to add players like they've done in the summer with Rice, who's been an unbelievable for the beginning of the year, and as given the stability to the forward players to, you know, have more uh, freedom and uh, has come into the team and looked like he's been playing for Arsenal for many years. So I think this is the the foundation that will, you know, bring Arsenal every year or every window, one or two players that will add more quality and, and will allow them to, to compete for, for the title. So to answer your question shortly, I would give um, Mikel and Edu uh, more time uh, because I believe that stability, uh, especially when things are going right, is the is the right right way. Well said, Philip. I agree with you. Uh, I wanted to ask you about another one of your former sides, Aston Villa. I mean, they are absolutely flying uh, under Una Emery. How impressive have you been with them? Uh, look, it's been massive. It's been incredible. One year, I think, uh, Unai has been at the club. Um, you can really see the way he wants to play, the way he wants to do things. But on top of that, so how, how good of a manager he is, and uh, maybe he got a lot of criticism when he was on the back of Arsenal, uh, of his Arsenal time, but now we can see really he's a, he's a top manager. Um, and also the way the club is run. Um, so you see there's an alignment from the director of football, sporting director, and the, go- and, and the coach. And this stability allows the team to, to do well. I, I'm repeating myself, but at Aston Villa, you see it where when we were there, there might not have been the same alignment between the different uh, stakeholders in the club. But at the moment, you see it with Monchi, uh, with the other people in the board, um, the directors and, and the coach. Um, I've been impressed by the type of players that they've signed. I've been impressed by the type of football and the players that they've been able to retain uh, in the summer. So, uh, you know, a huge fan of what they're doing. I think there are 11 wins uh, at home in a row, mm. which is also fantastic in the Premier mm. League. And uh, and they're up to fifth, I think. So that's fantastic. We, we, they're only two points off top spot at the moment. Of course, Spurs play tonight live on TalkSport. Can they win the Premier League, Aston Villa, this season? Um. You know, they'll be contenders to, to be up there in the Champions League spot. I, I think to win the Champions League, um, it, it might take a little bit more time, but you never know in football. Leicester have won it. Uh, we're probably uh, not as strong a squad that, that Villa have at the moment. That's, you know, uh, maybe my from my account of things. But uh, um, I think Villa have the potential to be in, in the top four, um, at least be in Europe. That would be a, an amazing season. So, Philip, if, you had, if I had to push you and say, who do you think at this current stage is the favourites for the Premier League? Who would you say? You, you, you know who I'm going to say, uh, Dan. I'm going <laughs> to say you Arsenal, Man City. Man City. Arsenal, Man City. Um, and then I, I, I could see Villa get into the top four. Obviously, we know we have the Liverpools, the Man U, who, who will you know, be there. Uh, and they're about, and, and, and Newcastle will push as well. But um, uh, why not? You know, Aston Villa would be a great story to come back in into Champions League. What about Spurs? They, of course, um, play tonight. We're building up to live commentary on talks by actually Philippe of Spurs against Fulham. They play tonight. If they win tonight, they go two points clear. And then they play again yeah. before everyone else on Friday. And if they win that, I think that's away at Palace. They could, in theory, go five points clear by next Saturday. When do we start talking? If that's the case, when do we start talking about Spurs having a chance of winning the Premier League? Yeah, I didn't mention Spurs. I think <laughs> yeah, why, why is that? <laughs> Ex Arsenal players, yeah. why is that? They've had a great start of the season. I think uh, they've been firing on on different levels. I think they don't only have one 
type of goal scorer that they might have had to before, but now they can score from different players, and I think that's a real strength. And um, and the way they've defended as well, I've been impressed by the centre back Van de Ven. I've been impressed by Bisuma, who uh, is for me the the really the it's like a new signing for Spurs this season, uh, and uh, he's given that freedom to Madison to you know really do what he what he does and um, it's been it's been great to see them uh, unfortunately yeah I'm, I'm Arsenal all through but if you if you see the type of football that they've done um, you know they, they'll be contenders to be top four as well and and with them winning tonight or, or winning in the next few games they could uh, they could definitely put pressure on the other teams around Philip, I'm not going to say they look better without Harry Kane because I think that's a silly comment because he's, he's arguably one of the greatest players in their history but would you say they look more rounded now that he's left, yeah, um, you know, it's like you said, uh, it would be a big statement and controversial. Um, I, I do believe that um, they have, yeah, like you say, more rounded that they can score from different uh, players. They, they're they're a threat from different areas. I think Harry Kane uh, used to come short a lot and used to come very deep to get the ball and and allow the spaces for other players, but now. Uh, you know, you have runs going all, all over. They don't really have that focal uh, point that Harry Kane was. Maybe the players in the offensive side are, are freer and are not only looking for Harry Kane to score. And um, and yeah, uh, maybe more rounded is, is the word, uh, Darren. Uh, a quick word about Fulham as well. What have you made of their season so far? It's a tough game. Of course, every game at the moment in the Premier League is tough, but away at Spurs. Away at Spurs is going to be tough tonight. I think uh, then they're not doing the same type of things that they, they were doing uh, last season. Um, but I hope they will they will pick up points. Um, they're, uh, they're a good team. They're well managed, mm -hmm. and um, and I'm I'm really excited to see them all the time. So hopefully tonight they can they can do something. Yeah, I bet you do. Listen, thank you so much for coming on. Just just quickly before I let you go, would you take Arsenal winning the Champions League if it meant Spurs became Premier League champions? No. Okay, I thought you'd say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a real pleasure as always. Thanks so much for coming on. Have a great day. Cheers, Philip. Thank you. Thank you. All right. the best. There you go, the wonderful Philippe Senderos. Of course, former Arsenal defender. No surprise, of course, he wants Fulham to win. <laughs> you can hear how Fulham get on tonight. It's live on TalkSport. Build-up begins from 7pm. Live commentary on TalkSport of Spurs against Fulham. <laughs> 